You know what I noticed about a lot of business? Um, mainly black businesses. On YouTube, it's a videos of basically how to open a business, how to, so, you know, and they start from scratch. And um, they don't really miss a part as far as Caucasian go now as far as people getting into you know music um people getting into studio um i don't see a lot of black videos on basically how to get into music like y'all making videos y'all making movies but edit a movie of basically how you made it in the music industry and don't skip parts and I believe that this world will be basically a better world because some people are just stupid really stupid like they don't know how to spell their name but they understand pictures and stuff like that so and some people just need knowledge and I think it should be more videos of knowledge on how people really made it successful in the music business. And it's just extra money. Because basically, you know, um, I caught a deal. This was in like in the 90s or whatever like that. So I know basically how it's ran. But... You know, all running around country to country and, you know, when you sign with somebody, sometimes it gets kind of, kind of crazy. So, you know, I never went really, really big, but you know, I caught a deal in the 90s early. So I know basically, you know, how it's ran. And I do put videos up. If you watch my videos, I put up, you know, the main parts that I see a lot of rich people in the industry you know I see them skip and I don't know why but because you have to think about it um a lot of people are selfish a lot of people get greedy I think of all the positive ways that if another person becomes a singer a rapper an artist how could I make money off of that person? Whether I didn't sign him, whether I did sign him, whether he's with another record label. That's how I think. I don't think about, oh, um, if this dude gets signed, I'm going to get less record sales and things like that. I don't, you know, basically th think like that. So some of y'all, you know, in the industry, you know, y'all just get too greedy. And being greedy, you have to look at the positive side of if another artist gets signed, how could I make money? <clears throat> like, for instance, if another artist gets signed, um, if you're a big, big artist already and you got, you know, major money, why don't you sell blank CDs? Why don't you sell um, studio equipment? Why don't you sell, um, you know, have a flyer business going? Sell mics. Um, you know, it's a lot of stuff you can do when you a big, big artist that if the unsigned artist is trying to be an artist that you can still make money. That's what you have to think about. I watch a lot of videos and all these videos and all these movies always skip the part of how this person made it. And I bug out. And basically how I got my first... Um, no, I didn't get a record deal. I got a distribution deal. No, it was good. And how I got my first distribution deal... 
is basically I used to um you know I started from tapes and it was tapes I used to go get like 30 40 tapes um you know copied of my songs every day sit them in the stores and give them out I used to do both and you know I used to sell them and give them out because you have to get a name it's one and either two things is going to happen when you do that for like years either a record label is going to come basically looking for you or someone's going to sign you a distribution deal now you have to understand the distribution deal because so i don't know what these people is doing you know when i got my distribution deal i was paid um nine dollars for every copy that this guy made you know i'm not going to say how much money you know but it's a it's a nice amount of money involved so every copy that the distribution person copied he gave me nine dollars so you gotta figure if um a hundred thousand say this is just an example if a hundred thousand stores basically took one CD or one tape back then, I would get, I believe that's $900,000. If I'm doing basically the math correct, but if they took one, so try to sit down and understand that.